close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And Welcome back to the Meet the Branches channel. My name is Shania and today I'll be doing a day in the life of an online school student. So I hope you guys like this video and subscribe if you haven't and please comment down below if you like videos like these. I want to say that this video is sponsored by NCBA. NCBA is abbreviated for North Carolina Virtual Academy, which is powered by K-12. K-12 is an online school that is all over the USA. So according to where you live, that will be your online school. For example, China went to COVA, which is Colorado Virtual Academy, when we're living in Colorado. But now that we're living in North Carolina, I am in NCVA, North Carolina Virtual Academy. So depending on where you live will be your virtual academy. So, like I said, today's video is being sponsored by NCVA, which is North Carolina Virtual Academy. So if you live in North Carolina, this is going to be a typical day in a life, but it will be somewhat similar in other states as well. Before we get on, I wanted to give you the main points also about this program, NCVA or any other K-12 um, in the USA, is that it is 100% free. You don't have to pull out any money because it is a public school. It is a high quality, tuition-free public education. So you will get real credits if you wanna to go to college or whatever. There's not any bogus credits or whatever, you will get your credits. And it's also K through 12, so kindergarten through 12th grade. Also, there are experienced, high qualified North Carolina certified teachers who are connected to you and your student both online and by phone. So those are the main points I wanted to point out um, in this program. And if you would like to join K-12, again, I'll put a link in the description. Thank you so much, NCBA, for sponsoring this video. Also, I got a surprise for you guys. So um, I'm gonna have my mom, which is also my learning coach in NCBA, talk about her experience and how it's been for her. And I also have a teacher from NCVA who's also going to explain to you. So first I'm gonna show my mother and how she has her perspective, so let's get on. Hi, my name is Melissa Bratcher. I am the learning coach of Shania Bratcher and we are one of the families of NCVA. What I love about NCVA is the freedom and the flexibility. My daughter is self-paced independent so this gives her time to be able to do her work independently. Also, the teacher. She gets a teacher for each subject. This is not a homeschool. Uh, type of thing. She does have teachers for each subject. This program is a free online program. You are provided with all the materials and equipment. They will mail it to you in the mail and at the end of the school year you just mail it back to them. They send you a printer, computer, and all of your books and all of your science projects. Um, anything that you need for the art classes and things like that, they will mail that to you. Also, the school is accredited, so all of the, your credits are accounted so you can go to college. As Shania's learning coach, I'm here to coach her along and assist her in getting her work done and make sure she's checking in and out and doing her work correctly and properly and promptly. So I have enjoyed this program this year. We'll definitely be signing her up for next year. This is my second child in this program. We were involved in a program called COVA in Colorado. But since we moved here to North Carolina, we have found this program to be very useful for our other child. So if you're interested in doing online school, this is the place to be here in North Carolina in CVA. Links is gonna be in the description. All right, so now I'm going to have my actual teacher. Now this is my virtual ensemble teacher. I really enjoy her class. So I want you guys to listen on how great NCBA is with their teachers and also if you want to be in a virtual ensemble slash choir, like I didn't have one in a brick and mortar middle school. They just had bands, so I mean there's no choir. So I was like, what? So when I found out that they had a virtual ensemble, it was amazing. So I want you to hear my teacher's perspective on how NCBA works. Let's get on. Hi, my name is Michelle Rose and I am the music teacher at North Carolina Virtual Academy. And 
and I did not think that when I started out teaching I would be a virtual music teacher but it is a job that I have come to really love and enjoy and so at NCBA I teach eighth grade general music so I teach the entire eighth grade. I also teach high school music appreciation and I also direct the extracurricular virtual ensembles which include virtual choir and virtual band and orchestra. A lot of people often don't understand how music can be possible in the virtual environment, but I promise you it can be done. So for eighth grade general music and high school music appreciation, we study a whole wide variety of topics. Um, we study different genres from everything classical music to country music, rock and roll, hip hop. We also study uh, movie music, video game music, uh, different music from around the world and different cultures. So we do a little bit of everything in those classes. And then in my virtual ensembles, I have created this unique way of having rehearsals. So students all come into Zoom so I can see them Brady Bunch style. And then we actually rehearse with all the microphones off but the students can still see me, I can still see them. And so a lot of my rehearsal preparation comes in by listening to their recordings in something called smart music. And so smart music is a tool that I use to assign students uh, you know, different excerpts from the music they're working on. I take a listen to that and then I kind of prepare what I'm gonna work on for the next week. In order for students to hear what they sound like as a full group, I'll take their individual smart music recordings and put them all together. So that way they can still hear what they sound like as a full ensemble. And so that's essentially what we do for music in the virtual. I think one of the biggest myths or things that I hear people talk about when they don't know about virtual education is that the students in the virtual environment miss out on a lot of opportunities that brick and mortar students had. And so I think that's simply not true. Like I said, I direct the extracurricular virtual choir and virtual band and orchestra so that gives students an opportunity to continue performing. There are also tons of other clubs. There's National Junior Honor Society, National Honor Society. There are plenty of opportunities to participate in the typical school experiences like prom, graduation, there's middle school dance. Every couple of weeks we have in-person outings where students can meet up um, and interact in person. We also have plenty of virtual outings. We went to a virtual art museum a couple of weeks ago. So there are plenty of opportunities for students to interact, to get to know each other, um, to have those typical school experiences in the virtual environment as well. So if you're considering the virtual environment at all, definitely give it a try. It's been something that I've loved as a teacher and something that I've seen so many students love as well. We've got to Make sure you guys stay tuned for next week's video, which is going to be part two of being an online school student. It's going to be more in depth about my day and what I do. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you guys next week. Peace and love. The